Hey guys, I want to talk to you guys about the devil's no lie. The devil's no lie today is a loving God will not send you to hell. And the sad thing is a lot of people believe that. They believe his lie. Because most people are not living for God. When, whenever you hear something that contradicts the Bible, it comes from Satan himself, the father of life. And from the beginning of time, that's what he's known for. If you go to Genesis um, chapter 3, when he was in the garden, he lied and deceived Eve. He said, um, but what, let me read to you guys from chapter 3. It says, but about the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden, God said, you must not eat or touch it, or you will die. And then the serpent said, you will not surely die, the serpent told her, for God knows, and the day you eat of it, your eyes will be open, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Okay? So God told her not to eat the forbidden fruit. She ate it believe in the devil's lie, that she will not die. But she did die. When you disobey God, you die spiritually. First you die spiritually, then you die physically. We all are born dead in our trespasses. I think it says that in Ephesians, I don't have the verse in front of me. So we are already born dead in our sin. So because she disobeyed God. She died spiritually. So she only, she, she had a, um, she died right there spiritually. Okay. So that's what happened every time we disobey God. So just remember, uh, I don't remember the verse in front of me. Jesus said, let the dead bury the dead. One person is physically dead. The other person is spiritually dead. Anytime you're not living for God, you're not born again. You are spiritually dead. Anytime this will be died, you are spiritually dead. Even a believer, when a believer sin against God, they have the Holy Spirit touch their heart and they repent. There's a temporary separation, but once the Holy Spirit convicts them, they quickly repent and their relationship is restored. God is black and white. He's a God of righteousness and he's not gonna have a relationship with people that's breaking his laws and commitments. So the devil is lying to us, telling us that there's no hell. When Jesus preached about hell more than just throughout the whole Bible, they talk more about hell than heaven. Hell is a place of judgment, it's a place of torment, and it's for eternal. And people, you know, everybody knows that God is love. See how deceptive and evil the devil is? He used that. God is love. Everybody just think God is love. God is love and run. God is love, but God also is just. God just sinned. God has a, a sent people to hell. Then, well, you know, people go to hell because of their sin and rebellion against God. And they believe the devil's lie that a loving God will not send anybody to hell. See, that's the lie that the world is living in today. That's the lie that the devil sold, sold the world. Okay, and then they, bought, they buy that lie. If you read in John 8 verse 44, Jesus said, after he was talking to the Pharisees, you belong to your father, the devil, and you want to carry out his desires. He was a murderer from the beginning, refusing to uphold the truth because there's no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks his native language because he's a liar and the father of lies. So that's all he knows how to do is to lie, is to deceive people and to kill us. You know, we once you start believing the devil's lie, it's gonna lead to your spiritual death. Okay, it's gonna affect your relationship with God. The only way 
you won't fall for his lie if you read your Bible, if you stay in prayer, if you, if you um, stay in fellowship with the Lord, if you abide in the vine. But if you reject, you don't read your Bible, you just go to church every once a Sunday, every Sunday, and just waiting for the pastor to read it to you. If you are a true um, born again believer, you should be reading your Bible every day. Do not be ignorant of the devil's scheme. You will be. You are ignorant of the devil's scheme. You will fall for his for his uh, lies, and you will be entrapped by him if you don't spend time in, in the Word. There is no excuse why you shouldn't be reading your Bible every day, especially in this time that we live in. Okay, so guys, do not lie. If you're somebody who's struggling to tell the truth, get down on your knees and ask the Lord to help you. Ask the Holy Spirit for help, to help you so you will not lie. Lying, when you lie, you don't what the devil does. He's a father of lies. He creates lies. So you don't want to follow him. You don't want to uh, lie because every time you lie, you become like him. Because he's a liar. He's the father of lies. There's no truth in him. So you cannot use the same lips to glorify God and use that same lips to lie. You cannot do that. Your lips are supposed to glorify God and praise God. That same lips cannot be lying. Okay, if you struggle with lying, telling the truth, all of us are flawed. None of us, you know, at times we try to stretch the truth, but we cannot play those games as believers. We have to live a perfect life. Be ye perfect as your heavenly Father is. We have to strive for perfection. So we cannot allow, we cannot lie and, and be, deceptive, be deceitful. Because when we lie and we've been, um, when we lie, we are following the devil. Lying comes from Satan. He's the father of lies. That's his native tongue. He's lying. Just like some people's native tongue is English or Spanish, the devil's native tongue is lying. This is what Jesus just says. So do not lie, saints. If you are struggling with that part in your life, you need to get you need to repent. You need to get down on your knees and ask the Lord for help. Ask the Lord to help you. So you're not lying. To help you in that area of your life. He's a loving father, his arms are wide open, and his ears is listening to you. He will help you if you struggle with lying, if you struggle with telling the truth. He will set you free from that. Because that spirit is a demonic spirit, the lying spirit. Lying lips is an, it's an abomination to God. Do not lie. Tell the truth. Because those who live in the truth, those who know the truth, which is Christ, will tell the truth, will always speak the truth. May the Lord bless you and have a good day.